one thing that's pretty common around the industry these days is that engineers are trying to put more and more things into smaller and smaller spaces, whether it's a chip or a laminate module or a PCB. And so one thing that we've tried to do with ADS layout in 2017 is implement features which enable these dense types of layouts to be done much more easily. And just as an example of that, here I've got ADS layout open and I have a laminate module, so it's a four layer laminate and there's a chip that's mounted onto this board. And let's say that I want to um, connect with using a trace uh, th this pin of this SMD component over here to the, the bottom of the package uh, all the way on the other side. Well, I can't just draw a trace across the entire board because I'll short everything, so uh, I need to be able to, to route this trace in a way that avoids different structures that are already there. And, and one way to do that would be to stitch it through different layers. So right now I'm on the top layer, but I may want to go to lower layers, for example, to avoid uh, this metal structure over here. This can be kind of challenging to do in the tool because if you're looking down on it, you, you, know, you can't always see all the complexity that's on these different layers. So probably the biggest thing we've done in ADS 2017 is to implement 3D layout. And the way I can do that if I'm in the middle of a trace or something is I, I do some substrate setup and then I just hit the 3 hotkey and that puts me into 3D layout mode. And once I'm in 3D layout mode, it's really easy to kind of pan around and see all the different layers and avoid things that I don't want to short. So here I'll insert a via and I can pretty easily now avoid this structure over here and I can rotate and pan around so once I get here then I'm on the second layer and I might it might be kinda hard to get around that layer so here again I will um, sort of route a, a via down to the the lower layer and then I'll go under um, this layer over here and now I get to this other area and maybe I want to go back up to another top layer. So using 3D layout, it's really easy to, to route and, and stitch connectivity through sort of dense RF and, and microwave designs. Now, it's really easy also if I'm in 3D mode, if I want to complete the trace just to go back to 2D mode, simply hit the 2 hotkey and now I'm back in my standard kind of layout view and I can go and complete my trace. So that's, that's one... Uh, capability that's really nice for creating dense designs. And by the way, 3D layout, it's really not just for you know, routing traces. Just about anything that you do in standard 2D layout, you can do in 3D layout. So just as one kind of quick example, if you're doing an IC, you might make a lot of rectangles. And so it's really you know, the same way you make a rectangle in 2D layout. You can make a rectangle in 3D layout and you can kind of move the shape around. Um, you can move the object and you can do things like you know, slide traces, things like that. All, all Everything you can do in 2D, really, you can do in, in 3D layout in ADS 2017. And one other thing that I find really useful about having a 3D layout view is that in a complex design like this, it becomes a lot easier to trace connections. So what I can do is tools, check connectivity, and go to show physical connectivity. And then when I click on a net, it'll show me kind of through the different metal connections on different layers how things are connected. So I think that's a really uh, useful capability to have in a layout tool. OK, so in this example, I'm trying to get the, the trace from one side to the other, and I'm kind of stitching it through different layers. But another strategy to, to get the trace from one side to another might just be to try to automatically avoid the, the, the things on the same layer that, that I don't want to short. So in ADS 2017, we've got some capability to do that as well. And the way to enable that is to go to Tools and then go to App Manager in ADS. This is an add-on, so we'll need to go and check this box for DRC Assisted Routing, which is a beta feature in ADS 2017. Now once we do that, we go to the Options menu in any layout, you'll see this new capability, which is you can add trace routing rules. So here, to add a rule, I just select the layer and I add a minimum spacing rule. So for the top layer, that's PC1, I'll make that 60, and maybe here for PC2, I'll make it 60 again. And you can do this for, for sort of metal structures and also for VS structures that you may have defined. And when I set that all up, now if I'm starting a trace from my top metal, when I make the trace, you'll see that there's actually a little envelope around the the item that I'm drawing. So this envelope represents the DRC minimum spacing rule. And when I come up to another metal structure like uh, this, this trace over here, another envelope appears around that structure. And if I click on that, I'm snapping the trace to that envelope. And that allows me 
to really easily draw a trace at the DRC minimum spacing rule. And if I want to get off of that envelope, all I have to do is click again, and I'm off the envelope, and now I come to another structure, and I can do kind of the same thing. So using this, this routing capability allows me to very quickly make traces that are DRC compliant and also not short any objects out. So this allows me to kind of do the same thing that I did earlier on the same layer, which is avoid different shapes that I, while making a pretty complicated trace that I don't want to short. Okay, so that's one aspect of the the digital the um, routing theme. Another aspect is in dense layout. You usually have a lot of different things on top of one another. So here I've got a, a chip on top of a ground paddle and with lots of different vias around. And sometimes selecting these types of things can be really hard to do because there's so many different objects and shapes on top of one another. So maybe I want to select this chip, but I accidentally select this via. Well, one thing we did in ADS 2017 to make this easier is we can use the space bar to do what's called the cycle select. So as I hit the space bar here, all the different things that are on top of each other will toggle together. And wherever my cursor is, I can select different things. I can select a chip or a via or an object. And when I select that one thing, now I can, I can do whatever operation I wanted to perform before. Another thing that, that, that's kind of complicated if you've got lots of hierarchy, like here I have a package and I've got lots of different pins and maybe I want to know, for example, really quickly what maybe this pin is or another pin. It can be kind of hard to do when you have lots of hierarchy in your design and you're connecting different things at different levels of hierarchy. Well now, uh, in the properties menu, when I click on a pin in ADS, I can it actually highlights the pin on the layout. So here I can really quickly tell you that this is, is v, this particular pin on the package is VB2. And as I cycle through you can see that different pins are highlighting. So it's a lot easier to query pins at different levels of hierarchy. And finally, if you're doing hierarchical dense layouts, you may have lots of different cells that you want to put in. So for example, here I have a chip that's in this module package and I have an inductor on this chip. Well maybe I've got a different version of that chip that doesn't have that inductor and I want to see how this all works. Well, the way I can I, I can do that, before I would have to kind of delete the chip and reinstantiate a new chip and try to get all the connections uh, to work out. But now if I double click on the, the chip layout in ADS or the component, there's this new capability that says swap component. And I can simply type in my new chip name, this is top PA block version two, and hit swap. And now I have a new chip that's instantiated in exactly the same place, and you can see that this inductor here is removed. So those are the just a few of the things that we did in ADS 2017 to enable really dense layouts, whether it's an RF module, an IC, or a PCB.